A little over one year ago, the entire world was left in disbelief after one of the most brutal shark attacks in recent years was captured on camera and uploaded onto the internet. This is the story of the Dream Beach shark attack of 2023. Well, coming into June of that year, a 24-year-old Russian expat by the name of Vladimir Popov had just recently taken on a new job as an IT specialist, and it was for this reason he, along with his girlfriend, had relocated just outside the city of Regatta, located in Egypt. And so on Thursday, June 8th, Vladimir's father had been visiting when they decided to book a room at the Ulysses Dream Beach Hotel. Now, this is often confused with the non-existent place people have been calling the Dream Beach Sheraton that's because the road all these hotels lie on is called Sheraton Road. Regardless, they check on in, drop off their bags, and head right on out to the beach to enjoy a day in the sun. However, at some point, Vladimir would enter the water for the last time in his entire life. You see, if there's one thing you gotta understand about these beaches is that while yes, they are relatively shallow and safe, they do have an extensive drop-off if you go out far enough. This leads to some of the larger predators such as oceanic white tips and tiger sharks to come into shallower waters in order to seek prey. Little did anyone know, a three meter long tiger shark had made its way into those shallow waters, when all of a sudden, the water erupted around him as tourists began to notice his thrashing, coupled by the many screams that were now coming from all over the place. And as Vladimir began calling out for his father in order to save him, onlookers whipped out their cell phones and recorded his final 20 seconds attempting to escape. All the while, Stand By Me is blaring in the background, adding a whole new level of horror to this incident. And here's where things go from being terrifying to downright heartbreaking. Just as a boat was approaching Vladimir, that shark pulled him under the water one final time. He would never resurface. As for the shark, it would later be caught and dragged ashore where a group of locals would essentially take its life out of revenge. And this is where people start to become divided on this incident. It was later determined not only was that shark in its final stages of a pregnancy, but that it was quite literally starving before it had gotten a hold of Vladimir. And it is widely theorized that overfishing in that area has led to more and more shark attacks in recent years. You see, almost one year prior on the dot, a Romanian tourist by the name of Roxana Donison was caught on camera leaving her hotel room with snorkeling equipment. But as more and more time went by and she had failed to return, her friends ended up reporting her as missing. Just a short while after that, what was left of her body ended up washing on shore. But here's the thing. Authorities later determined a group of tourists that were on a boat fairly close to where Roxana was caught that incident on camera. However, they did not take the time to alert authorities and they did not even try and pull that boat over to where she was. They simply filmed it and continued on with their vacation until her body had washed up on shore. It was only then that they decided to present that footage to the authorities. And while fortunately enough, this footage was not leaked online, her father George watched the entire thing. Here's what he had to say. There were pictures taken by a tourist in a boat just beyond the buoy that she was swimming towards. Not a single person tried to help her while she was in the water. While yes, I think we can all agree that the idea of hopping into what has essentially become chummed up water with a shark present is absolutely terrifying. I think we can also agree the act of filming somebody's demise then continuing on with your vacation without alerting authorities is an absolute shitty move. But this wasn't actually the last time a shark attack in this area was caught on camera prior to the incident involving Vladimir. As it turns out, within just a few days of Roxana's attack, an Austrian tourist by the name of Elizabeth had been snorkeling with a larger group of individuals just northeast of Hergada. She too was attacked by a shark, the culprit, a hungry oceanic white tip searching for its next meal. Within the span of about 30 seconds, Elizabeth had not only lost an arm, but the shark had taken one of her legs as well. And while she was miraculously able to swim herself back to shore, she went into shock, passing away within just a few hours. Yet again, tourists and locals alike filmed the entire incident and posted it online for the whole world to see. Point is, there were three shark attacks in that area within a little over a year. Prior to then, the most recent attack was in 2018, and before that, 2015. So the overfishing theory may just hold a little merit in this scenario. Now, one final fact about the shark that took Vladimir is that you can most certainly see it to this very day. It has been put on display in a museum in the city of Hergada. So this next one brings us to a place called Jalisco. Located in eastern Mexico, Jalisco is home to about 8 million people. Well known for being the birthplace of tequila, rodeos, and even the mariachi, it is also well known for being a cultural hotspot. And it is for this reason, it has only become a more and more popular tourist destination as time has gone on, specifically in order to visit their beaches. 
So on December 2nd of 2023, 26-year-old Maria Jimenez, along with her five-year-old daughter, have been spending some time on a beach known as Malake Beach. Now, completely contrary to the beaches of Hergata, where they just have a steep drop-off if you go out far enough, Malake Beach is essentially its own little bay. It's not big by any means, but if you think about it kind of like a half moon cut out of the side of the coastline, that's what you're seeing on screen here. And it is for that reason sharks that may be hunting a little bit further out will find themselves getting caught in these shallow waters due to this little inlet. Regardless, Maria had taken her son out to this little inflatable water park about 75 yards offshore. Well, as they are swimming just a little bit further out, Maria notices a shark is now making a beeline directly towards her and her child. So she grabs her kid and starts swimming towards that platform as fast as she possibly can. It was at this point the chase was on. In the very moment Maria was able to place her daughter on that raft, the shark took a sizable chunk out of her upper thigh just below her hip. And while onlookers were fairly quickly able to pull her out of the water, by the time they had reached shore, Maria had long since passed away. She would be declared deceased on scene. Now in Maria's case, they weren't initially able to identify the type of shark that had bit her, although it was later determined to be a tiger shark. Now here's a few not so fun facts about tiger sharks before I let you go. They have often been referred to as the garbage cans of the sea. Reason being, they have been known to eat anything from old tires to license plates and even at one point, a whole chicken coop that fell off of a boat into the water. That in mind, I do think it's worth pointing out that if you find yourself swimming in any of the bodies of water surrounding Mexico, there have only been 42 attacks reported over the last 400 years. However, that number gets way worse if you travel to the Bahamas where they have an average of 10 per year. As a matter of fact, also in December, like so in the month that we are in now, two women were attacked in the Bahamas and they ended up passing away. That was within less than a week. Just a little food for thought. So that's it, y'all. That is going to do it for this video. If you find this type of content interesting, be sure to subscribe as we have multiple videos uploaded each week. We cover a wide variety of topics, usually dealing with the dark and unexplained. So my friends and frenemies alike, we will see you on the next one.